For this video, we're going to play some arty games, and I'm going to take the environment challenge. So what I got was the white house that has been abandoned and features a puppy. So I started out my sketch by blocking out the White House in rectangles. Um, I did use a reference pick of the White House, of course, because there's a lot of architecture involved um, with the White House. Uh, so I didn't just want to go by the picture that I have in my head of the White House. Um, I haven't really drawn architecture in a while, so this definitely was a challenging thing for me to draw, um, but yeah, so as I sketched, I kind of started developing the story behind the prompt I was given, um, and I had this idea of it's like a post-apocalyptic or like something really bad happened that now the White House is abandoned and like has all these broken windows and just in, is in a state of repair and yeah just looking kind of junky and not as regal as it usually is seen. Um and I thought that the puppy involved in the prompt would be one of, like, the trained guard dogs that once was there, but something had gone horribly wrong with him and was either, like, a zombie dog or a mutant dog. You can kind of decide that for yourself, um, but basically this guard dog is definitely not your friend and will never be your friend even if you're the person that was his handler while he his job was to guard the white house but now he's just kind of in a monster state um for this video i did try out different camera angles so let me know if it's interesting to you if you liked this new type of filming. Also for this video, I'm probably going to be uh, dropping in and out with the voiceover, um, just where I have things to comment on. Um, if you can't tell with my voice, um, I've been sick for a couple weeks now, that's why there wasn't a video up last week. Um, but I'm starting to feel better. I just don't completely have my voice back. Um, so yeah.
so after inking in all my pencil sketch lines um i wanted the colors of this piece to be kind of muted and dark um so i decided to use my artist's loft watercolor set um these are a kind of cheaper watercolor set so they're kind of more of a chalky texture um but since this is in a sketchbook and i was just kind of having fun with a challenge um i was okay to use them um but i did kind of a wash i guess you could call it of gray and a purple um to kind of give the background just a foggy hazy uh look to it um and then later on after i finished that i decided that i would fill in the other areas with the watercolors as well because this paper that i'm using is a mixed media um sketch pad so it has kind of a tooth or a texture to it um and i wanted to use colored pencils as well so i wanted to just have like a base color down so that um there wasn't like white showing through you know how you get when you have colored pencils on a rough texture um so there'd at least be like some color behind it of what I wanted the things to be um, so that was my idea in laying down some watercolors so originally for the dogs eyes i was going to make them like a red almost like scary demon eye color um but then later settled on a green and then make like the slobber coming out of his mouth like a green oozy type color um so that he wasn't necessarily zombie but he is some sort of monster that you're not quite sure what happened to him um but yeah so that was kind of a last minute decision to make his eyes green um yeah and here's where i get into my colored pencils um i'm using mostly prismacolor colored pencils um and i go in with the darkest parts or my black um, to where I want the broken windows to be and all of that and then I switch to a gray to kind of add more dimension to my already hazy gray painted color to flush out the features of the architecture of the White House um, and add, add depth to the different features. With the trees and bushes that are around the White House, um, 
I went for more of a um, kind of textured random splotches of green um, rather than doing like single leaves and just kind of adding the idea of clumps of leaves with the different colors of greens um, to add depth but not necessarily create individual leaves and give your eye kind of just the perception of this tree and the bushes surrounding. Also for the dog, I did try to do a puppy version of the Doberman Pinscher, um, and kind of made him more of a cartoony version, kind of like the White House. I made more of a cartoony version. I wasn't going after realism or realistic looking drawing for this. I was going more cartoony. now I'm kind of wrapping up hitting little things that are left um, but I hope you enjoyed this challenge video um, please give it a thumbs up if you did helps me out um, also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, please do so um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.